Resting in the grassy plateaus 112 meters underwater, we can find what remains of Life Pod 6. The Life Pod sits on the ocean floor in an upright position. With extensive damage around the hull and a major breach on the top of the vessel, it's evident that the crew did not make it out alive. The final distress call from Life Pod 6 provides insights into the challenges its two crew members faced. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. With a nearby Aurora leaking radiation into the water from its damaged drive core, one of the crew members in Life Pod 6 attempted to craft a radiation suit which could have provided protection for the swim to the rendezvous point. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. The unused lead can still be found inside of the vessel. A small reminder of their futile attempt to survive. It's clear from the damage inside of the vessel that there was an explosion that occurred from within, and the crew's final audio log sheds light on the tragic events that unfolded. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Using a flare inside of a life pod and next to a fuel source is extremely dangerous and resulted in this unfortunate loss of life. The identities of both crew members are not fully known. However, one appears to have been the head of HR for the Aurora. <laughs>